friends, Star Scorecard series continuing. There's a lot of these videos. I think I think there's like 76 videos total. Uh, well, that's the plan anyway. Uh, cheat code 5.3H. All right. Um, what are we doing here? So addition and subtraction of fractions with unequal denominators using pictorial models and objects. Okay. So we're doing fractions, adding, subtracting, but we're using models. So vocabulary that we need, common denominator. That's when you have the same denominator for two different fractions. So they're compatible. You, they're easy to use. Uh, composite number. That is a number with more than two factors. A prime number only has two factors, one and itself. Numerator is the top number. Denominator is the bottom number of a fraction. Simplified form means that you cannot divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number anymore. Okay, it's it's as small as it can get. It's 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 its simplest form. Improper fraction. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. Okay, so an improper fraction means that it's greater than one, and then a mixed number means you have a whole number and a fraction together. So number one, which model is shaded best to represent uh, the expression below? Three tenths, okay, plus two fifths. Look at this. If we're talking about two fifths, doesn't two fifths equal, right? If we multiply the five times two, that is ten. Well, if we do the top, if we do what we do to the bottom, we do to the top. What we do to the top, we do to the bottom. So two times two is four, four tenths. So what is three tenths plus four tenths? Okay, let's check it out. Um, let's, we, we have to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It's not that. Nothing, nothing has thirteen in the denominator. So this, this is wrong. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three tenths. So this is, this is the, uh, whoops. Three tenths. Okay. One, two, th three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, four out of ten. Remember, I told you that. Four tenths. Whenever you have these problems, you are going to have to either expand your ratio or simplify it, expand your fraction or simplify it to make a common denominator. That's our answer. B is our answer. Okay. So, let's go on. All right. I love fractions. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Newspaper advertisements can be one quarter of a page, one half of a page, or a full page. The shaded parts of the model below show the fractions of the page used for two advertisements, right? Which of the following equations represents the total fraction of the page used for these two advertisements. Well, look, this is, if we just divided it, right? One quarter plus one quarter plus one quarter plus one quarter. This is void, that's not there, right? So three quarters, one, two, three, is, is, is the shaded part. Because isn't that one half? One quarter plus one quarter? That equals one half. One half plus one quarter. If you have 50 cents and you are given another quarter, you have 75 cents. You have three quarters. So one quarter plus one half is three quarters. That is correct. All right. Some people like the vision problems. Some people do not like the, the, the picture problems. It's, uh, it's just people have different skill sets. So. Miss Ali, uh, Miss Ali collected a notebook paper from her students at the beginning of the school year. The model is shaded to show the fraction of this notebook paper that Miss Ali used in each of the three months. Okay. Whoa. What fraction of the notebook paper Miss Ali, uh, what fraction of the notebook paper Miss Ali collected was used during the three months? 
So we have to add these together. Because if we were to create a box like this, this is all of the newspaper, right? This equals one. One, whole. And these are fraction strips. So let's say that's half, right? So we've got it half. Okay, so we're, we're done with the third month. And is this one, two, three, four? That's a quarter. So look, let's add this. That is one quarter. Okay, so one half plus one quarter. Okay, and there is how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, look. One eighth. This is one out of eight, right? So what do you have when you have one half plus one quarter plus one eighth? Well, don't we have all of them to right here? Because we just added all of the blue together, right? We added or all of the gray, the shade. And so we're just missing this part, one eighth. What fraction of the notebook does Miss Ollie collect during? She collected seven eighths. We are missing. She hasn't collected the last remaining one eighth. She's collected seven eighths. That's cool. Okay. So, what is three quarters plus one eighth? Well, we can we can do three quarters times two times two equals four times two is eight. Three times two is six. So. One eighth plus six eighths is seven eighths. All right, that's it. Um, the next question we're going to start on the next video. Thanks, guys.